With the dismissible widget, we can dismiss widgets by swiping left or right. And this is what we want to create here. So we want to have this example where you swipe the whole widget to the left to perform an action. And if you search for an alternative, then you can also use the slidable. I have made a video about it. And here, every time it is not dismissed completely, it will stay open and then you choose with your fingers uh, what you want to select. And I will also link this slidable video which I have made under this video. So let's go back to the business. So what we want to create here in this video is a widget which gets dismissible completely. And to quickly build this list view here, we build an avatar, then a title and a description. And therefore I add here some chat items. So I have added here some data where we have these information inside. And now we want to create here instead of a container, a list view, which is separated. We put here our items count inside and then we create a separator every time. So between our items, we want to have a separation and then we call this item builder and here inside we want to get first of all our item and then we want to build our item and therefore I create here a new method which is called build list tile and here we put our chat item inside and now we want to create an individual list tile for each chat item therefore I create here this list tile and here we put some padding inside and we also put a leading inside, which will be our avatar. So like you saw in this example, here at the beginning, we have this avatar and then we have the messages on the right side. So we put here, first of all, this circular avatar inside and we also put here this image inside and we also create a title and inside of it, we create a column to display two texts under each other. So first the username then some space between and then the message. And now if you hot reload, you see something like this. And you see, we also need to put here in our column a cross axis alignment to start so that everything will be aligned here to the left side. Now we have set up everything to actually make this list tile dismissible. And here in our list view into our item builder, we want to put our dismissible around each list time, which we have. So I put here simply a dismissible widget around and we simply create a new widget here. And inside of this dismissible widget, we want to call here this dismissible. This is from the Flutter SDK and I created only this one here as a wrapper. And then we put here our child inside, which is exactly this list tile. And now comes the important thing. We need every time to put into our dismissible a key. So this is a key to identify our item, which we put here inside. And therefore I put here this item inside. I also create a new field and I will also create it here at the top. So I have to put here actually an item inside, which will be our chat item. And this item, which is of the type of chat, so this is our chat object and this goes directly here inside into our object key and the object key will only care about that this item gets uniquely identified. So each tile gets identified uniquely. And that's what we need to set here for these dismissible. And if we try this application right now out, then you see that the swiping is already supported and yeah, but no action is behind it. And that's what we want to change here. Therefore, we add here this background property and here we can add an action. So we want first of all to add the left action. And inside of this method, we simply create a container and we align it here to the left side center. So it will be aligned to the left side because this widget here, this container has the size of this whole container here and we want to align it to the left side. And then we want to give it some padding and some color. So this will be our background color later. We put it to green and then we also set here an icon inside. And now if you swipe here to the left side, you see that we have here exactly this icon and also the background color. 
And if we swipe here to see the right side, you see that we also have the green color, but the icon will be only on the left side, but actually it's the same action then. And if you also want to create here on the right side an independent action, then you have here this option of secondary background, and this will be then here an action for the right side. So we will create here this method, and here inside we first of all create a container, and we this time put it to center right, so inside of this container it will be aligned to the right side. And then we add also a padding and a color red this time because this time we put an icon of delete inside. And now we can also hot reload it. And now you see that we have here on the right side this delete icon and on the left side this archive icon. And also we have every time a different color on both sides. For our dismissible, we can also decide into which direction is allowed to swipe and therefore we have here this property direction and here inside we can set the dismissing direction from start to end or end to start. And if you hot reload it right now, start to end means that you can swipe from the left to the right. And if you try to swipe from the right to the left, then this doesn't work. And you also can set here end to start inside and then it is from right to left that we can swipe. And if I try to swipe from the other position, then it doesn't work. And by the way, you can also put here something like up or down inside. For example, if I put here this dismiss direction up inside, then you can also dismiss this widget by sliding up. And you can also put here down inside, then it is in the other direction. Now we want to add some action behind this dismissible. And therefore I simply delete first of all this direction because we want to work with both directions. And then you have here in this dismissible also the field of on dismissed. And here inside we create this on dismissed function and we put this on dismissed here outside of our widget. So we handle this outside of this widget and also we put here this parameter inside. By the way, you can get the whole source code with the first link in the description and with the second link in the description you can get my Flutter course to become much more efficient with Flutter. Now we go back here to the main file and back in the main file we add here this on dismiss property and then we get the direction back. So this is the dismiss direction. So basically we get here the direction if it is slide to the right, to the left or up and down. and now we want to implement here a new method for it. And inside of this method, we first of all put the context because this is what we later need for displaying a snack bar, what we want to do. And then we also put this index of our item inside. So this is the index of our list item. And then we also put the direction here inside, which we get from this on dismissed handler. And now we simply add the functionality which we want to have for each direction. So first of all, we want to remove this item from the list. And therefore I call here items remove add. And then we use this index of this item here. And if I hot reload, you will see if I now swipe into any direction, then it will be deleted from this list. So in both cases, if we delete it or if we want to archive it, we want that this item is going away from the list. And this is what you need to put basically every time at the beginning of your functionality. And then you can add here also further functionality. So you can add here a switch and then you can handle each direction. So you can add here all the missing case clauses and then you see which one you can handle. So we can handle here like we did before, start to end, end to start. You can also choose here other ones, but I will simply remove the other ones. And now we can decide what should happen if we swipe here from right to left. So if we delete it, what should happen? We call here a snack bar right now. And I will put here inside chat has been deleted. And if you hot reload it, then you see if I swipe it now to the left side, it will also say here chat has been deleted. And we also do this for the other side, start to end. So if we archived this message, then we want to put here chat has been archived inside. 
And yeah, basically what you later do is to put here your functionality inside what you want to have when this is executed. And like you can see, we deleted here or archived it right now. And then it says here has been archived. And the last thing what we want to add in this video is also in our app bar here, this actions and inside we put our icon button to restore our list items if we have deleted everything. And here inside we call this list of data sheds. So we get the origin sheds, which we have here. And we put it then again inside of our items of our state, which we have here. And then we wrap here around the set state. And now if I try to delete here some of them, and then I press here on restore, then all of the items will be restored again. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.